this is going to be a couple minute update. It's cold out here. Forgot my jacket. Anyway, welcome back to Cooking with Bill. I'll talk about roasting coffee beans a different way. Showed you uh, a couple months ago how to do it in a pan. I bought a uh, rotisserie attachment. I wanted to show you that. Now this is a bag of uh, Ethiopian Yurikacheti coffee. So as you can see, it's much, much smaller than what you would think of as a coffee bean when you get done roasting. But they're just tiny. See how tiny that is? So they're about the size of a small pea. And uh, different coffee beans, different sizes, but that's about average. Now I get this from youroastem.com. But what I did different this time is I took and I added a rotisserie unit since I have one for the grill, never used it. And then I bought this basket. I filled it with a little round a pound of coffee. Put this on high and we're letting it roast. As you can see, this unit fits right on the spit. And it just keeps rotating them with the heat on it. And I showed you on a pan, they were all on the bottom, you had to stir them all the time. This will keep that happening. Now, a couple things with doing your coffee. First of all, there's two stages to it. First crack and second crack. First crack, you'll hear a little popping. About at that point, you're starting to roast. Then you're going to listen for a second crack. Second crack is going to come out and at that point you have to determine how dark you want your beans so you just have to pay attention after that second crack now it takes about I'd say 15 to 20 minutes to get to that first crack stage but don't depend on me just telling you a time you actually come out here probably 10 minutes or so keep checking to see that uh, you haven't gotten to that point uh, you want your grill on high so you're gonna be about 450 degrees to 500 degrees whatever your grill does if you get much higher than that, you can turn it back a little bit. You don't want 700, 800 degrees if you got one of those super burner uh, type of grills. We'll come back when this is done and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we just took the coffee out of the roaster and put it in. We put it into this sieve. If you'll notice how big the coffee beans have gotten now, they almost doubled in their size. When you reason you put it in the sieve, you see this dark shaft coming off of it? Well, that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to sit here and take the coffee beans, shake them in the sieve to get that chaff off. We're going to let this sit for about two days before we try to grind it for a cup and have this be a much better bean. Now, I roast mine fairly dark. You can see it's, it's a dark cocoa color. There's a little mixture in color in it, but not a lot. That's more for like an espresso or a very dark roast. You could have stopped at a medium roast, but again, watch your beans as you're cooking them so that you can get it to the level that you want to have. So there's another one in the books for you. It's cooking with Bill, and we'll see you back at the grill. No, we'll see you back in the kitchen. Coffee style. <laughs>